So, uh, what did I do? What fucked you up, fam? Um, I <laughs> saw The Shape of Water, and I really liked oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was a really good f- film. Um, it was, uh, yeah, I can see why, they, why I got all the awards it did, and mm-hmm. I can see what the big hella blue about fish fucking is. Yeah. Because yeah. there's lore there. Everybody yeah. go fuck your fish. Have uh, a good time. Yeah? The really interesting part, uh, actually, like the funniest thing about it is... Did you still find it weird that every secondary character was really on board with fucking... So here's the animal? problem now. The fig, the biggest problem with the fucking thing okay. is not even the act of the fish fuck, which oh, everybody yeah, knows yeah. at this everybody point. Everybody fucks the fish. It's not That's even fine. that. It's that when you go tell your sassy black lady friend about of which the fact I have that many. you fucked the fish. Oh, yeah, you fucked a cool fish monster, and, huh? And sassy black lady from the olden days is like, girl, oh, my God, he, 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 laughing and yucking it up when it's like, that's not how that would go. That'd be like, oh. That well, lady would throw a Bible at your head. Nah, yeah. man. And be like, yeah. y'all need Jesus. Nah, man. Get the fuck to church. See, off screen in Shape of Water. You, you don't, made me curse. You done made me curse with, with your fish see, fucking. See, off, off screen in Shape of Water, you don't <laughs> see this. But Shape of Water takes place in a slightly different alternate universe in which furryism started super early. Because this And is place now, in like, the, the very, very 60s. popular. If anything, everyone should be throwing Bibles at everybody because, at any given time. Because your villain is obviously going to be a pseudo- Right, racist, sexist, misogynist, yeah, everythingist yeah. type asshole. It's General He's Zod, right? Fucking. And that's there, and that's all like expected. But even her neighbor, but, even her neighbor's yes. like, "Yeah, get in there, girl." Yeah, like, and he's a social outcast for his own reasons. That's fine, but still, you know, we don't but, even know what. But the no, fuck you but get in on. Though. Yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. Is like, <laughs> like we get it, like the misfits and the outcasts to a degree. Yeah, yeah. But the friend was way too on board with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way well, too on board. Well, because that sounds like she also wanted to fuck the fish creature. No, yeah. no. And then there, there wasn't even a warm up period where she was like, "I don't know about that girl. That's weird." And then she'd walk away, and then like two scenes later, she's like, "Oh wait, they really love each other." What? No, it was just like, "Yeah, what thumbs if you got, up." Like yeah. pregnant with like horrible Slap fish babies. Slap that donger around. It was. It was like, is she the way she reacted was if like it was if you hooked up with um. Like oh, you know what I mean, like some John Ham or, or yeah, like <laughs> like some sort of exactly like you you like you you got laid by some celebrity or some fame, you know what I mean? Like someone came to town and then like and you're then like went oh, to town, you, yeah, and you're like oh girl, you got yours, you know? It's like that's re- like why? No, you can't sell that. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, Too bad it was sold. It was still very good though. Um, nice, nice. Uh, uh, Music spiritual, amazing. nice spiritual successor to the Black Lagoon. Um, it's creature from the Black Lagoon, not Black Lagoon. Yeah, and yeah, music the music done really well. Um, solid, uh, so, some solid closing lines, I'd say. The yeah. in the towards the the the, the climax and um, uh, 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 shit, I had another point too that I completely forgot. Fish fucking? No. Yes, thank you. It was yes, <laughs> thank you. You actually brought it back. The post movie discussion. The post movie discussion on this one is interesting because now you get into the ethics of like, all right, mm-hmm. what type of intelligence is being displayed from this fish man? It's unclear, right? Good enough. And we're talking about like things like sign language and such. So, is that a level of intelligence comparable to I don't know, let's say a signing monkey? Yeah. For example, Coco sure. the gorilla that can do sign language, right? Yeah. And then you get into, or like a dolphin, right? And then you, exactly, and then you start having this, and you go like, "So is it okay to fuck a dolphin?" It's clearly not, right? And so where? Wait, what? <laughs> you need to justify that. Hold on a minute, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, no, like the- <laughs> <laughs> seems like a Phoenix Wright case. So now what you do, right? And then you, you so we, so you have this discussion about the difference between the type of intelligence and the type of sapience yeah, yeah, that yeah, the yeah, fish yeah. man displays. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then you you go towards the far flung, very obvious, clear, and uh, acceptable future of Mass Effect, where you're like, hey man, do they fit? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Right, it with whatever even- race you want. Mm-hmm. You can bang whoever or whatever in, 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 in your Mass Effect Slam future, a hand right? arm, yeah, man. Okay. And so that means that, like, in, in a world of aliens that show up and are pretty much as, like, competent and as aware as you are, mm. then it's fine. But clearly, we have a thing, too, where it's like there's also – it's not just the fact that you're displaying that you're intelligent and whatnot, but there's also an age level that we kind of need to make sure you're not – 
super young and or gullible to a degree. Is, because is there fishman years though? But that's what I'm saying. Is so like this is a discussion where you have to kind of figure out like why you gotta ruin what's it, okay? Make, why do you gotta why make you to it creepy love, and man. what's not okay? Right? Why do okay, you gotta make you know it creepy? Yeah. Do you know and what's then, not okay? Can't you just though? have some wholesome fish fucking? <laughs> do you know what's not okay? Do you know the, the part that makes it like kind of go oh okay? But the intelligence level mm-hmm. is it? How does she first gain his trust? Uh-huh. What does she do? I don't know. Well, I, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to give too many details, but she this, a gift. She offers a gift. What is the gift? It's an item. It's the type of okay. Food. It's it's a type of food. Yeah, yeah. That's dogs. Yeah, yeah. That's how to get yeah, the, animals yeah. That's to how trust you. Yeah, you, you hold out your hand and you. you that's the po- intelligence apple, level. Palm, I think apple that in the palm it of your starts hands. at yeah. and remains at. So, yeah, man. so it's yeah, it's a fish creature. Whatever, yes, man. I guess she puts some peanut butter in her hand and <laughs> spread no, it wherever you like. No, see, see the problem, right? There's and, no problem here. There, okay, fine. <laughs> the discussion that I found very fascinating was trying to come up with the invisible place that we don't have the language for yet. Yeah, of like, you know, aliens show yet. up, <laughs> like because like you foresee the possibility of. Needing on the books fish fuck rules. Well, well, because here's where I'm going with this. So when we were talking about it right after the movie, we pretty much went to the world of like, okay, so eventually the aliens show up and they're like, it's like it's they're weird looking, but we're yeah. like, yeah, but they're clearly yeah. aware and we're aware, and then okay. so then people start living together long enough uh-huh. that that becomes the norm and everything's fine, right? And like just breaking the, and so we're talking about how it's like, okay, so when your kids show up and go like, hey. This is my girlfriend. It's this alien thing. Are you going to be the racist asshole dad going, oh, I'm one of them in my house? Well, what if, you know, what are if, you, <laughs> what if the aliens that Asking show, questions about the scales. What if the aliens that show up that you want to put your dick into are like a barely sentient proto-mass and they're just like a natural, they're like a spore I, I, that's a difficult and one. You, it's just like having sex with a bowl of jello that came from space. Yeah. Is that wrong? I, I, I don't know. And I, my conclusion was that smarter people than me <laughs> will have to work this out and tell us no, what to do. No, way <laughs> dumber people because, than you. Here, because it gets away with a lot of these questions by like, presenting itself as a fairy tale and it can, yeah. has kind yeah. of magic yeah. Yeah. and whatever. But... Let's say I do bring some fucking semi intelligent mass of jello that I enjoy having carnal relations with to my parents. My parents are right to be concerned about how this relationship will go in the future. Who supports for the mass of jello? Right. Are you going to have a rough time trying to support this thing? Yeah. They can be okay. They can yeah, be needs concerned like a, about that. But are they going to special pod? Yeah. But then, but then here's the question. Are the parents going to be. Does it work? Does it take shifts at a no, subway? No, I, it's I, a I, barely <laughs> sentient proto mass. Are they going to start rubbing up on to feeling the texture of the jello? Because, ooh, that hair is so different. That's I've not a tear. It's what, yeah, that's you know. That's its genitals. That's that, how this happened. <laughs> Right. And so that's the whole thing. And, and uh, you know, so my girl was basically like <laughs> insisting. She's like, no, I would have, I would, I would accept. It would be weird, but I would accept it. And it would be this alien thing. And I'd be like, no, but you, you're both, these are consulting, oh, consenting so, adults. And mm-hmm. it'd be fine. And I'd be like, yeah. So, so the ding dong, the door opens up and yeah, yeah. the stalk yeah. just walks in. With its legs okay, and creepy That's, right. that's yeah. not fair, because the stock is a special case. I know, and that's why I used it, right? The fucking stock from Saga just bends in and why walks in. Why you gotta in. be such a hater for love? And says, hey, you must be the you must be his mom. Nice to meet you. Yeah. What what do you do? And of course and she like she literally like ran and and went like ah around the corner and I'm like, oh, Oh yeah, you're you're gonna be so accepting, huh? Yeah, like because yeah. insects and the creepiness of bug legs and all that. Yeah, yeah. it's like you're gonna be super racist everyone, to those people. Yeah, everyone has their thing where it's like, oh no, not that thing. Don't pretend you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting there eating dinner and not like sweating at the at the the sounds that this insect person is making that yeah. you're you're. Where your it's Boscus comes out and eats up the shepherd's pie. You're not going to feel comfortable about that. Hey, man, takes all kinds of love for the world. You want to fuck a creepy bug? That's cool. So that's all it is. is it's a discussion that we what don't if have the nuance yet. a pair of yet. pants, a sentient pants that are yeah. filled with shit yeah. walks into your house? That's right. Continue. That's, that's the scenario. Can it talk? No, but it can make noises. Can people fuck it? No. 
It's unclear at this okay, juncture. Okay, so wait. Because how do you? What? What? Wait, hold on. What? Okay, because this whole I'm trying to think of what scares happened, you the most. It's like how do I accept somebody's love of a creepy thing? It, which it's more in this than case, that. Would be a sentient pair of pants filled with shit. It's yeah. it's more than that, and and the reason why it's a more complex topic is it? It is, <laughs> is because it's not just again like one like you said you hold out the food. Yeah. You, you get, animals do that. <laughs> Sign line. Yeah, we got animals to do that. Yeah, that right. Cool. It's not just that. It's Don't like even it. if the thing is as complex and as smart as a human being can be, sure. yeah. it's still not okay until it's at least of age. Okay, well... So if... How do you know that Fishman... You need to find you know? its society where it lived growing up. And, and contextually, and, 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 and right? Need, research how, needs to be done. How about That's I it. reverse this on you? How about that? What if... Say, Wooly, say you, you meet fish, fish man and you're like, boy, oof. That's a handsome surprisingly movie. attractive for yeah, a fish man. man. All right. Now let's say fish, fish people, because they're weird fish creatures. They live to a million years old, right? Mm. Let's mm. say 1 mm. million, mm. right? And this one happens to be 80,000. Sure. Which is like an adult. Yeah. They're an adult for a million years, right? Yeah. Does that make it creepy for the fish person to fuck you? Because no matter how old you are, you are going to be like creepy baby years to Well, hit. that's the problem is no, because... Because that fish monster most likely doesn't have the same stigmas and taboos that we do. Well, it's, not, it, it's not just that. It's also that you can't do the relative thing. Because if a, if you meet a race of highly... Wait, you're related to it? No, you can't. No, if you meet a race <laughs> of highly intelligent things that are alive for 24 hours... Sure. Then does that mean by 3 o'clock... It's like it's okay by whose standards? Well, that that you, you understand, like you can't say. So you have to apply a new set of standards. You, you absolutely do. No problem. When elves fuck human beings, yeah, that's cool. Okay, but Wait, what type of elves? But, uh, well, let's, night elves? No, or like the no, pixies. No, I'm talking about. Uh, um, He's talking about high elves from fucking so, Dragonlance. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, the same type. <laughs> okay, fuck it. We're talking Sylvanesti, Qualanesti. Okay, there you go. Right, so. When you're talking, you're talking those elves, and they decide to fuck a human being. Well, a human being, sure, if they fuck it, if, if a 20 year old human being fucks yeah. an elf, that's like what? Uh, 150. 150 yeah. is a good right. one. Yeah. 150, right? 150 is like, oh yeah, you're starting to mature a little bit, I suppose. Mm. But does that mean that anyone under 100 in elf years is going to be like, ew, gross, you're fucking a child? To, and to, as far as elves are concerned, I mean, it, no. Yeah, it man. It depends They're going to be like, you're gross, dropping. you're fucking a human. It depends they if let you're it dropping rock. the elf they into our rock. current timeline slash society versus fantasy world. In fantasy world, elf starts looking like us. Nah, man. Because fucking... Uh, a what's, lot sooner what's than... What's her name? Yeah. Tannis' wife. She's like, oh, yeah, he's got the gray in his beard. That's some good shit. So, but like, okay, yes. remember that shit? Yeah, they're, yeah, I do. They're cool like, with it. In Lord of the Rings, like, you didn't look at, but um, but Aragorn was like, is like eighty five. Yeah. In that movie, yeah. in the movies, in the books, sure, he's yeah. old because that's because people lived older. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever, whatever. Biblical and and Arwen's yeah. like a thousand years old. Let's say I don't know before the third age. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And <laughs> they never mention any of that shit in there, probably because like, it de it depends if Guillermo del Toro cares the age gap falls. if he's gonna write that in then it's important to him if he's the, not then he's not the age gap falls before the species gap species gap must be crossed first and if you're cool with that then you're probably cool with anything it does uh, it exists afterwards you're yeah. it's true the species gap is the biggest one but that's why i was so fascinated by how complex it was because i'm like now you've gotten past the species See, the gap only, the only reason you gotta complex. figure out is because you're putting, putting rules on love with the fish, man. What's the halfway point, you know, between, like, all right, it's not just that it can, it can be apparent at this point. I don't know what this joke looks like. What is the halfway it, point? It's, it's spoilers. Oh, yeah, that's spoilers, cool. actually. Yeah. I was about to do a movement. Don't like, do no, it. No, did you don't this, do it. Did you know the second dream is about a love affair with a creepy fish man? So, <laughs> so Guillermo del Toro can actually, like, convince the world that it's okay to love your fish man. I think it was there a little bit. And we're bit. cheering and spritzing as it happens. I, I think it was there, but in mainstream like exposure, yes, yeah, absolutely. But, it, but when you replace the fish man with any other type of scenario, oh, wolf various man. degrees of, well, right? Wolf Twilight. Man, man. Yeah, right? yeah. Acceptable. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, also, that I don't know that, that vampire that shit's book, weird. That book had some weird shit vampires. where like her baby was. Oh, oh that's great. Yeah, oh, that's the, that got bad. That's, that's hilarious. The worst that got bad. one ever. It got bad. It got ever. real, real bad in Twilight. I know, um, it was really funny. The the the, 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 the baby. <laughs> I'm gonna marry smell. that baby. Said the Wolf Man. Its imp- smell imprint is stuck with me. I can't. Fuck I can't off. avoid it. And and then I she's brought like, that yeah. up to, uh, when I was in university. There was a, a, a acquaintance of mine. I would not use the term friend because uh, not because of this exact story. But, but she was reading like a it. Twilight book, and it was a book after the time that that happened. And I'm like, "Hey, what's up with that wolf man wanting to fuck a baby?" She's like, "That's not what it's about." Yeah. And I went, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh huh." Yeah, and then I had the quote ready on my phone. That's exactly <laughs> how that goes. And then she got so mad that she cried and ran away. Yeah, she did. Yeah. And I felt so big about myself. That's exactly how that goes. I felt so strong and powerful. Um, it's a discussion. There are a bunch of people, it's particularly our audience, that are gonna go, dude, what? And gonna go look up a bunch of Twilight spoilers, not knowing, right now. yeah, because every because it's kind of old at this point, yeah. So some people might have not might have missed out on the creepy shit, but yeah, no, a baby gets born and a werewolf looks at it and, and goes, smells it and goes, oh yeah, mm-hmm. don't worry, I'll wait the three weeks it'll take for her to grow up because she's a magic she's a, baby because she's a Chinese myth dragon, like like Dizzy. <laughs> Is Dizzy a Chinese Dude, dragon? I have Dizzy, no one knows what Dizzy is. Dizzy's like three years old, man. No, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, you should worry Dizzy's, about it. Dizzy's three <laughs> and May's 18. Uh, That's uh, weird, man. Guilty Gear sucks. <laughs> um, Yeah. Can we please get away from this topic? Now? I worry yeah. about it. I worry about it. But you know what? It was a good movie. It it's was nothing a good to worry movie. about. It's just um yeah, you know, you there's can, a lot of there's a lot of depth to these questions. Well, because you can take the formula of uh guess who's coming to dinner. Oh, yeah. wow. We're you wow. Totally can. Yeah, just, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you went and fucking got Sydney Poitier's fucking name. Dragged into this fucking trash. Holy shit. I'm just saying it's a formula. And it we is. can move the cards around. And we can play with on the on the blackboard and try to figure out what's happening. You know what I mean? That's all. That's very good. We can try to figure that out. That is the that is the worst mm. analogy ever. Mm. Ever. <laughs> you open up the door, see what's there. Oh no. Would you hey? Hey, Wooly, let's say, let's flip it around. Say you bring home a family and it's either Ashton Kutcher or a creepy fish monster. Which do you foresee causing more problems? Uh, uh, the same <laughs> amount for each. Oh, man. Hope you like fish slime. Um, I, does, I, does caviar make that relationship awkward? Depends, because fish eat fish. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I don't think they give a. Because they're different kinds of fish, right? They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And he's not actually a fish. He's not. I thought he was a fish. No, he's an amphibian type creature. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not like. But he's not literally a fish. Okay. You know what I mean? Just, I'm just saying. So. What if it was like Dory with just a big fat ass? <laughs> I'm starting to think that's what you thought the movie was. Did you see? The, oh yeah, the Swedish, <laughs> the Swedish ending of that, Finding Dory. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe that shit. That is the best fucking tweet. Oh, okay, no. so oh, just man. go look up. Just go look up the tweet of the Swedish ending of Finding Dory. It's the funniest and appreci- thing ever. Appreciate it. It's real good. It's real strong. <sighs> I, I I had an inkling as to what was going up there, and a dictionary search later yeah, confirmed it. Yeah, but still, yeah. but still, fantastic. And I feel like that can now apply to multiple. Things. It, that that yeah. is probably a thing with many, many, many yep. Swedish films. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Strong, strong, strong. Um, it only works best if it's with like children's. Oh yeah. And <laughs> 